Police say a four-year-old Albuquerque boy who fatally shot himself may have found the loaded gun in his home after waking up from a nap. His nanny called 911 just after one from the home on Ridgecrest Place near Gibson and San Pedro. An ambulance rushed the boy to UNM Hospital, but it was too late. So far, police haven't said who the gun belonged to, but they do say the child's father is in law enforcement with the Department of Energy. The dad was visibly distraught when he arrived home after the incident. Investigators are speaking with him and the nanny, but say the shooting appears to be a tragic accident. The boy's brother and the nanny's child were also in the house, but they were in another room. If the gun did belong to the parents, they probably will not face charges for leaving it in the reach of a child. That's because New Mexico does not have a law that holds adults responsible if they fail to keep their guns away from kids. News 13's Alex Tomlin went asking today if it's time to change that. A long time ago, we should have taken care of this. Senator Cisco McSorley says children are at risk because New Mexico's gun laws are badly outdated. 27 states now have child access prevention laws that say guns in houses must be kept locked, unloaded, and kept out of a child's reach. In some states, violations can lead to criminal charges. In others, adults are liable for damage a child does with a gun, but not in New Mexico. We already charge parents for the damage their kids do with graffiti, yet we won't charge parents with the damage that's done with a gun. McSorley wants change, but... We've tried. We've tried in the past, but the gun lobby is just so strong. We talk to people at random. Some, like Marsha Lincoln, want lawmakers to keep trying. If the parents or the supposedly responsible adult won't act responsible, they have to expect to be liable for what happens. But others, like Bruce Garcia, say another law is not needed. I don't think we need a law to, uh, to tell people to be responsible with their guns, responsible enough to teach uh, themselves and, uh, and their, you know, their children and anybody else that they have a gun or that, and how to use a gun. McSorley says the laws will never change until there's a public outcry. Alex Tomlin, KRQE News 13. And we do need to stress at this point that police are not saying whose gun killed that child today or where that gun was in the house.